So today's project is going to be getting a handrail up here so that I can trust that kids can come up here and play and, and I'm going to put some bunks up here so I just need to make it a little bit safer so that they don't fall. In the basement I have salvaged lots and lots of old wood from old houses that were built in the 1800s, some of them even built in the 1700s. I'm going to go down there and dig through all of the extra wood that I have down there and try to find something that will match what I have going on here. Instead of going and buying lumber or, or even trying to mill something, I kind of would like to use some of that old stuff. So a lot of it's got nails in it and it's going to be really difficult to you know, make cuts where I need to and things because of the nails, but I'll see what I can find down there. Okay, so I'm down in the basement. Um, I've got stacks and stacks and stacks of wood down here. These are the longer pieces that I could not stand up, so I've got a pile here of stuff that's over eight feet long. And I'm digging through here trying to find what I'm going to build that handrail out of. I was looking through here. These, I think I'll use these pieces also from the blocks of home to build the, the uprights to hold that rail. Everybody should have a pile of 100-year-old lumber in their basement. Actually, it's more than 100-year-old. This stuff is, this was an old timber framed house, one of the oldest ones in town. Okay, so these are the boards that I've selected. As you can see, there are some nails in it. These boards are from the Bloxham House down on Washington Street in the town that I live. It was a timber-framed house from the early 1800s. One of the oldest houses in town, but somebody bought the property, tore the house down. I collected as much of that stuff as I could as they were tearing it down. I want it to be nice. I don't want it to be fancy. And we'll see what I get when I get there because honestly I never know until I start to build and then everything will just sort of flow together and it'll be done before I know it and I really won't even know how it got done. I've got all my pieces cut to go up here. Let me see if I can get them all figured out now. What I did is I put a, a groove for the, the center rail to come in, quarter lap of the top so that it would look so it would look authentic and it serves a purpose. Now, all the wood that I'm using is old repurposed wood. It fits what I'm doing. Once this handrail is up, it'll kind of look like it's been here forever. And that's my goal. I don't want to, you know, I could go mill some wood, and but, but I just don't want, there goes Archie. I don't want to, he's always trying to steal the show, by the way. I don't want to, use new wood because it just won't look right up here so Everything is cut to fit really snug. There, and all I have to do is get it, get it leveled up. There. <clears throat> all I have to do now is get it leveled up and get everything fastened in okay. place. So the handrail's all done, the ladder is all installed, everything is good and sturdy. I don't have to worry about anybody falling off from up here. All right, so let me show you the next project that I'm going to do on my next video. So I'm building a rope bed for up here, and I was going to build two, but once I got one of them built and I started to see what it was going to look like up here, two would just be too many. So each of these are marked. I pre-assembled everything. It's all dovetailed together to fit together. 
And this one goes like this. So that'll be the, of course, that would be the bottom of the bed. So I'm going to assemble that tomorrow. So if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe.